Political visits are all about messaging. And Joe Biden's trip to Northern Ireland was nothing short of two fingers to the UK. This charmless zombie staggered from one diplomatic howler to another, including choosing to remove the Union flag from his famous beast presidential car as he travelled through the province. Imagine a British prime minister travelling to America and discarding the Stars and Stripes. It wouldn't happen because we are not that disloyal. Biden confused the New Zealand All Blacks rugby team with the Black and Tans, a military police force deployed by Brits during the Irish War of Independence. Now, we all make mistakes and some of Biden's are hilarious, but his decision to pose for a selfie with Jerry Adams, the effective spokesman for the IRA during decades of terror and carnage, is a sick joke for anyone in the country who lost loved ones or suffered injuries. Just imagine Rishi Sunak flying to New York and posing for a selfie with someone linked to Al-Qaeda, who famously brought down the Twin Towers. But bumbling Biden knows no shame, particularly in the light of his absurd claims to be an Irishman. What a load of old blarney. He is the world's most famous plastic paddy. As a Dolan with Irish parents, I can call myself a proud Irishman as well as a proud Brit. Plastic paddy Joe Biden is about as Irish as a Toyota Prius. I'm starting to think we've been spared by his non-appearance at next month's coronation. After all, he'd probably have Jerry Adams as his date.